Okay, this is part two of the demonstration of how to calculate the two-way analysis of variance from chapter 11 using StatCrunch. So last time we got as far as the data input, which happens to be the hardest part of this thing. And now we're going to go to Stat, down to ANOVA, which is a two-way ANOVA. What opens up is this dialog box. We have to tell the computer where the response is found. That's the density measure, the third column. The row was, the row factor was strength, I believe. And the columns were time. Next. Well, as for the interactions, because we need that for the question. And we want to display means, and we do not want an additive model. We want to see the model with interaction, meaning how the two factors combine together to influence the outcome. Next, and calculate. These are our results. And now we're in a position to answer the question. Uh, just looking at this table, the questions are going to be, is there an influence of interaction, which really should be done first? Well, this p-value is bigger than 0.05, so the answer is no, there's no interaction. It's not significant interaction. Is time significant? Again, the answer is no, because the 0.43 is bigger than 0.05, which is the, the significance level or type 1 error cutoff point they're using here. The strength is significant at 0 0.001. Um, So now let's try to answer the questions. Oh, one more thing. We can also look at the picture. Now let's examine this picture. It's saying that the red line, which represents the 14-minute uh, time in the solution, seems to increase the density faster from going from strength 1 to strength 2 than the blue line. So at 14 minutes, it's going up more quickly. It starts off lower, but ends up higher. So the slope is fine. The lines are crossing. If they're parallel, there would be no interaction, but they are crossing. But it's still not statistically significant interaction because either the sample is small and or the variation the variation is large. Okay, so let's put the